Um, I was born in a little tent on the south side of Chicago in 1968, um, 4858 South Michigan. Anyway, that's old address. But um, I got into blues because I, I played in a reggae band. I was fascinated with reggae, and I played in a reggae band for two years. And when they broke up, I started going to blues jams in Chicago because, you know, that's all we got in Chicago are blues jams. And I felt more at home, you know, to play the blues because that's the music that I heard my grandparents you know, listen to uh, whenever company came over, you know, so I feel more at home. Oh, so my favorite blues players, well, you know, I was, I hate to say all the Chicago guys, but, you know, when you born in Chicago and you're playing blues, you gotta, you gotta listen to the, um, the guys that paved the way. And for me, Elmore James, you had the Earl Hookers, you know, you had the Sonny Boy Williams, you know, you know, Junior Wells, Buddy Guy, you know, all the guys that paved the way. So then you got the Three Kings, the BB Kings, Albert, Freddie, you know, um, you know, Albert Collins, you know, he's a Texas guy, but, you know, kind of known for being in Chicago. Um, you know, Jimmy Reeds, you know, I mean, you, you got to, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants, basically, in Chicago. So, but some of my favorite songs are Elmore James songs, you know, um, J.B. Hutto, you know, um, and then, you know, the extension of J.B. Huddle was Little Ed, you know. Uh, I used to practice to all these guys when I first started playing guitar, so those are my some of my heroes. I guess the style of blues that I'm playing, you know, is a little bit more um, dirty, <laughs> um, a little bit more loud. It's, I guess it's called Chicago blues because the blues that came from down south, when it hit Chicago shores, it got a little bit more dirtier, a little bit more loud and uh, and raunchier. So I guess my style would be considered Chicago blues. The advice I give to young musicians is write your own songs. Keep trying. You know, get a passport <laughs> just in case uh, things happen. But write your own songs. It's nice to sing covers, but it's not a great, it's a great feeling when you write your own tunes and your own story. You know, and you can use it. You can you can use a template of a blues song that you like, like a song uh, by BB King, "Why I Sing the Blues." Put some different words or something in it, but write your own words, your own songs. You know, to start you out. But um, always try to get better, and always be around, and know your history of the blues. Don't stop at one person. If you like Freddie King, listen to who listen to who Freddie King listened to. And that's how you learn, and that's how you get stronger in the blues. If I could perform with anybody, <laughs> um, I would say, even though he's been on stage with me, I would say Buddy Guy. Um, just the legacy that he has, um, and uh, and you know, just his his story. You know, it's um, he's he's the last of the old blues guys. He's the last link, for Chicago at least, and. Um, if I could record or even write a song for him, I'd appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you to all the people at um, Lower Northwest Michigan. <laughs> Thank you for any. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for listening to my story and my songs. Peace from Chicago.